Hello and welcome to module five. This module will run through the rest of our course. Um, I'm opening it up early enough so that those of you that are going on vacations will have time to complete it and actually still have some summer. So throughout the course, you've integrated and you've infused technology into your own curriculum, into your own coursework. Um, in this unit, we're going to create a learning unit. I, I kept throughout the all the modules saying, well, I used EXE in this one, and I used Soft Chalk in this one, and I never did use UDO2. But it is a as UDO2 is a wonderful um, program to create units in. So, if that's something you're interested in, I would really and advise you to pursue it. It's very teacher friendly. Um, so in this unit you are going to create a unit. You're going to do something standalone using either EXE, UDO2, or SoftChalk. The one thing with SoftChalk is it's by far one of the best, but it's very expensive. Now, as a student, and because I was a doctoral student until last year, I was able to purchase soft chalk for $150, and I did do that probably three or four years ago. Um, you know, you can get it at a student rate for that. You can even have it housed in the cloud. Um, the reality is, unless your school wants to purchase it because it is very expensive, it's like I think $500 per person, um, but they do do, you know, your your technology director would be able to do something. Um, I wouldn't suggest learning it. EXE is wonderful. It is the one I'm probably the most comfortable with, even more than Soft Chalk. It does many of the same things that Soft Chalk does. It can be integrated into Moodle as a SCORM. And SCORM basically means you can write a test, in, put it in your EXE learning, and if you upload it to a learning management system, Blackboard, Moodle, you can upload it as a SCORM, and when your students take the, the quizzes or the tests that you put in the unit, it will go into your gradebook in Moodle or Blackboard. So it is very, very good. Um, I don't remember if UDO2 does that. Soft Chalk does do that too. But what I like about EXE and UDO2 and Soft Chalk is the ability to burn it on a CD. And if I happen to have a student who already understands the concept or struggles with the concept, I can hand them the CD and say, I'm going to be teaching this today, but I would like you to go and work on this. Everything is right there for them. They, I can have voice recordings, screen recordings. It's all there. So I'm really expecting a lot from your unit. Whatever you decide to do it on is entirely up to you. The readings that I have here on the Horizon Report, this is put out every year, and I've been following it for about 10 years. There's a K-12 and a higher ed um, edition and basically it's all the top technology leaders in the country get together and they meet and they start to talk about what they see that's going to be happening as far as technology in the next year in the next three years and the next five years and it's amazing because a lot of times they're very very on top of it and on track I would love to be invited to one of those one day but um, so I would like you to take a look at, at whether you're K-12 or higher ed. I like to look at both because they have different information and it's very helpful to know. Um, then you're going to upload your assignment here and then we're going to talk about PLEs and PLPs and I know a lot of school districts have really jumped on the bandwagon with prof professional learning communities and professional learning environments. Um, we're going to look at it as a personal learning environment or a personal learning plan. plan. They're also known as professional learning plan plans and professional learning environments. So go through the unit 
to identify what they are and how they're gonna work and then you're gonna do an assignment with them and it's basically a mind mapping tool and I don't want you to choose one you already know choose one you don't know there are so many wonderful ones out there so always be trying to learn something new challenge yourself how you set up your PLP and your mind map is entirely up to you monthly subjects sites whatever works for you um, go ahead and set that up then there's two discussions I would like you to discuss um, learning webinars and um, personal learning tools so in the introduction to this unit which I in giving you these questions now so I will reword that what are the implications associated with using the internet for learning what have you discovered what issues could you have as an educator for using the internet for learning what district guidelines on using internet based applications might you run into and what are your personal beliefs and knowledge about the internet so that's what you're going to do for this unit then I'm gonna hop right over to the the final digital toolbox and here's the instructions here's where you're going to upload it now if you decide not to do this and just stick with what you had from units one through four and you don't decide to polish it and you don't turn it into this digital toolbox the highest grade I'll give you is a B um, this is a major component of your master's program so it needs to be done but you've definitely learned a lot in this course and I, I've listen to you I've I've read your your discussion forms I don't like to, to butt into discussion forms but I love to read them and then just kind of summarize um, now it's your turn decide what is the most important highlights of this course that you learned about that are going to um, push you further towards being a scholar and being a master teacher so do that and then upload it. I am going to put a discussion forum question here also. I just haven't done that yet. So that's what you have to do when you're done with these components. Um, please check back and forth for the discussion forum just so that you continue to learn for a few weeks if you finish this in the next week or two. Um, but have a wonderful summer. If you ever need me, you've got my email. I don't plan to go anywhere from Valley City. So, you know, go ahead and get a hold of me and ask me any questions. I still have um, teachers from 10 years ago that once in a while will send me an email. What do you think about this or how do you do this? Um, feel free to do that. It was, it was a great time and it was splendid and fabulous and um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the summer. We will talk to you soon in the discussion forum.